right, welcome back. Elwood arrives on the shores of Valor, a new companion in his numbers. Enigmatic young man, young girl named Ninian. The majority of the island is covered in dense forest. But it has no one has ever returned from these dark woods. Dense for all crawls over the party, engulfing them one by one. Cautiously, they move deeper into the trees. The Dread Isle. The Dragon Gate. Shame on you, Marquise Ferry. Freed the boy and the girl. I will not let you move unopposed. What shall we do, Nor Lord Norgal? We both siblings gone, and we can no longer hold the ceremony. How many times must I tell you, Lord Darren? You're being used by this man. Bring, bring him... Yeah, bring, allowing him to bring dragons back to the world who helped to destroy humanity. Well, <laughs> destroy humanity. Dragons may have been a threat to mankind in the past. Lord Norgal's power, we've got nothing to fear. Lord Norgal can control the dragons. Ha <laughs> ha Lord Darren, you've um, oh, you're already lost. Plan to start a war in Lycia. The war I was plotting in Lycia would have generated a glorious amount of force in one blow. You are not equal to the task, it seems. Do not worry, I have other means at hand, black-hearted fiend. Grr. Hold your tongue. There's still a task for you. You must perform. Ephedel Lemestel, my beloved morphs and uh, beautiful works of art. I have new jobs for you, my pets. First, Lemestel, you will go to Burn and contact Sonya. I want you to arrange a meeting with the king. Understood. Ephedel, take this man, Marquise Laos, and go. But you'd exterminate the mice who've landed on this island. Yes, master. Gives you, Fere. Seems your legacy. Blah, blah, blah. Mouse can interfere with the conquest of Lysias Elwood. You'd be graduated given this far. Elwood, my son is here. Stop. Do what you will with me, but leave him alone. Ha ha. Remember, the sibling you freed the girls here, too. As a matter of fact, she's with your son, Elwood. Quite a delicious twist of fate, wouldn't you say? This can't be. Hollywood would die in these woods. The girl will be returned to me and the ceremony will take place. And despite those long hours of torture, you remain undaunted. Such courage will make you a perfect sacrifice. Hollywood, turn back. Take the girl and flee, please. I cannot believe it's come to this. I must inform Lorne Hector of these events. If I hurry, I may be in time. What? Leela, what are you doing? Where are you going? Lord Ephedel, these sentries I'm going to check on. You overheard, did you not? And I had such high hopes. So far. Ah! Punishment for traitors is death. Dead. Exclamation point. Uh, Matthew. Impressive, Jafar. Your power is beyond compare. Take this woman's corpse and leave it in the forest. Let it serve as a warning. Valor Island. Get pat through these woods. It's starting to get foggy. It's hard to see. I'm gonna be lost. It feels like we're not coming back. Hector, what are you trying to say? Are you well, Ninian? Yes. I will be fine. Someone's there. Who? A sentry? Lilia. Lila, is that you? Impressive work finding your way here. Something's wrong. Leela. Lee. He's dead. No! This can't be. He was one of our best spies. I'm sorry, Matthew. Why do you apologize, my lord? Leela's blunder. That's all. Matthew, Leela was... She was... After this mission, I was going to ask her to put this life behind her. Waited too long, didn't I? Huh. My lord, might I rejoin you later? He is to be buried, of course. Ah, uh, I'll go with you. Let them be alone. There's nothing else we can do. Blast. They put her out here for us to find like this. Unforgivable. This is a foul dude beyond foul. Let us go. The foe somewhere in this forest. We must stop before any more die. Uh, beware something comes. What? Ah! Lindus. You value her life, send the girl to me. 
Ah. You are Sekrim. That is correct. I'm Utai of the Black Fang. I've been sent to capture the girl and kill the lot of you. If, however, you hand over the girl and depart this island at once, I'll grant you your lives. And if we refuse, you know nothing, little lord, nothing of Nurgle's might, nothing of his terrible power. You're ignorant, and so you hope to oppose him. Your insects railing against the heavens. Your actions will change nothing. Speak no more of this foolishness. Maybe we don't know what or it is we're fighting, but if we flee, our loss is assured. So we will continue to struggle, and we yea, yet prevail. Wally. What? Why are you letting me go, holding a woman hostage? During battle is shameful, you two are sacrificed, so I shall show you mercy. I will let you die with the sword in your hands. Rest assured, I will kill you. Be of good cheer. In dying, you shall be spared the calamity that is to come. Nini, you must hide. We, we meet the enemy. So, just real quick, while we arrange our, our people, I need to bring Florina with me, so I'm going to have to dump somebody. Oswin is going to go bye byes and then we'll bring Florina in. Uh, I can bring Matthew in. He's actually good in the fog. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to mention at this point was at this juncture, you start to see where, particularly with a guy who is his own unique sprite, that, and they mentioned it earlier in the series as well, that the Black Fang up until recently was sort of a noble group of bandits, if you will, where they only really punished the corrupt or evil, but now they have aligned themselves with Nurgle because the leader of the um, Black Fang organization has been uh, seduced, led astray, uh, I don't remember if hypnotized is the right word, uh, by one of Nurgle's uh, minions. So, um, that is why they are working for Nurgle now. But you can see in this instance where he had an opportunity to sort of do what many of the others would do, which is just basically come in, get the kill, you know, and, and be done with it. He chooses to let Lynn go rather than use her life as a as a, a bargaining chip or a ransom chip to try and get what he wants. So instead he lets her go and basically gives them the opportunity to uh gives them the opportunity to show if our might or their might is greater and then, you know, in turn, you know, the strong will survive that sort of thing, you know. Um, so there is, in a way, there's a little bit of nobil nobleness in, you know, this. And you see that here, and then you will see that again later on as the story continues that some or a lot of the Black Fang members just sort of follow their boss's order, despite the fact that they may not agree with his logic anymore. So... Uh, we're rearranging some stuff right now. I want to make sure that Florina has a lance. So we're going to give her a, um... I'm also looking at the power-up items. I'm not really sure what to do with them. Torch would be good, so I'll pull a torch. Uh, we're going to sell these red gems as well, just because they do me no good sitting in my inventory. And there's nothing that really removes money from my, um, like in Pokemon, if you die, you lose half your Poke Yen. Well, it doesn't exist in this. If you die, either the character stays dead forever and you can continue, or one of your lords dies and you get a game over. So. There's no thief in this game that can, like, steal half of your half of your funds or something make off with them if you don't catch them. So, I'm gonna rearrange here real quick. Um, I know there's a, another Pegasus Knight coming in. Uh, we'll be meeting here in a moment. I need Florina to recruit her. 
However, I don't remember if she appears on the left side or the right side. Currently, my rank is great! I'm doing great except in funds and tactics. That's okay. That's okay. Tactics is the hard one. And that's my current ranking. Those stars are based on how well I do in each level. This is an augury. We're not going to be paying her and she's going to tell me to go fuck off. I'm not going to pay her the 80 gold. Which is a very little amount of gold. But I'm not paying any amount of money to you. Oh, is that so? You're a fucking loser then. Dave? Yeah, and we're going to do the mission now. Merlinus. Merlinus is mostly safe here. You're Chris, right? I'm Dart, the leader of Fargus's suicide squad. Captain ordered me to follow your commands. Do you want me to what do you want me to take care of? Suicide squad. Matthew, are you sure? What are you talking about? Look at this eerie place, this thick fog. This is exactly what you brought me here for. Yet if Leela, if Leela knew I was shrinking my duties, she would never have forgiven me. I'm fine. I will work twice as hard in Ostia in her honor. I understand I'm counting on you. As well as you should. Tell me, Leela. This is what you would want, right? You wouldn't want me to give up. I'll mourn for you when our battle is won. We must fulfill our duties. So rest, I promised every- Whatever. I promise you... Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. In, in a normal situation, I would leave Matthew out. You know, in terms of story context and trying to be as accurate to the way I feel that I would play the, you know, if I was the actual Lord, how would I do this? Matthew would take a rest and mourn his lost, you know, lost loved one. However, because I don't have any other thieves in this game, right now anyways, I kind of need, I kind of need his vision because it's going to help me in this mission to avoid accidentally running into an enemy or an enemy range and getting murdered. So that is why I'm going to bring him along. Um, this is an okay level for Raven. I'm going to keep mentioning some of the people I'm trying to bring up from behind. Uh, whether that be Raven, Lucius, Anus. Uh, eventually there'll be others. Um, Loan. I'm not too worried about Loan anymore because he's at he's 10 plus. Yeah. So he's got a torch, so I'm going to have to kill him. So we're going to send Florina across the thing because I'm not going to be able to catch him with a dart. And if I had been smarter and used someone to scout out this area before sending Loan in, we probably could kill that or be damn close to killing him and picking up the uh, torch right now. Um, I don't, I'm not going to use dart. I've always wanted to use dart, but darts, darts, this is a crash. Like, you'll, we'll run into a different character uh, that is a classed up uh, version of the pirate, which is a berserker. And provided that dart doesn't get a superior, like a series of very superior level ups or this future character that's a berserker gets really shitty level ups there's not a real good reason to use dart because you get a better version of dart already classed up and already at whatever we'll say level five or level seven so like there's not a good reason to use him because he's way he's just wasting your experience points Yes, yeah, so we are going to use our torches to help see. Um, you know, we don't want to accidentally run into, say, a archer who would immediately kill Florina. Nosferatu. Nosferatu is a dark magic spell that allows uh, the caster to uh, gain health when they, um, yeah. Allows them to gain health whenever the attack lands. It does, it is sort of heavy to use, 
so you're not you're generally not going to hit twice with it um plus it doesn't have as good of accuracy as some of the other books do so you're less likely to hit with it but again the off the offset is that oh well you get to heal Okay, let's go. 17 damage, not enough. Uh, springs her to 7. It's pretty good. I'd really like to see her closer to, say, 10 now, but... So that she's sort of at the same pace as everybody is right now, which is about 10 to 12. It's just that... Like I said, I, I can't really do anything. She can only gain small amounts of HP every time she heals, which if you heal a lot, those people level up very quickly. If you don't heal as much or you're not constantly making sure to take your time and heal, then yeah, it's going to be a while. That's okay. And then I need to get Florina back up towards the top because uh, another Pegasus Knight's going to be spawning in here in a moment. But I kind of want her in position for that. Alright, good. You evaded that. You've got resistance so I don't have to worry about anything else. Speed resistance. Mist. There she is. I found them. The, these men are black. Black Fang. Look at everyone. Back to night invade. I will fulfill my duty. I must do it. I am a true knight of Ilya. Unfortunately, she's going to go after Black Fang members, which means that. She's gonna basically try to determine who the closest one is, and she's a Pegasus Knight, and this is a heavy archer level. Uh, she's more likely going to just die. Unless I can recruit her and take control of her, um, her movements. Steel bow missed. Fuck. Alright, whatever. We'll just take care of you now. I think I'd been better served with shooting the, uh, the shaman there. Should be able to take care of these guys. Nope, cannot. Cannot recruit with anyone other than Florina, unfortunately. Yep, we're gonna use his Vulnery. Or, I need to heal, more or less. And I kinda... Well, let's just keep going. And then I know there are pirates spawning up towards the top, so I'm going to have to bring Raven back so he can protect Merlinus from dying. But that'll be in a turn or so. Good. Yeah, sure, I probably healed, uh, Yo-Yo, um, Bartre before moving him down like I did. It's a little irresponsible of me, but I can take the torch, which is good. Okay, we're gonna heal you up, and then we use torch here in a moment. Torch allows me to throw a torch, essentially, um, out a certain distance, so... Like, for instance, if there's a fog area and I can get close enough, I can use 
uh, the torch wand basically put a reveal in a, a you know just in the center of a fog area she's attacking a guy I can't see but thing that I can now talk to her sister Laura you are a Florina I'm here with Lady Lindis I was investigating Dread Owl by someone by yourself no there were others full units Pegasus Knights we all we were attacked you can't mean misjudged our situation and all my knights are dead because of me I am a failure that's not true you're a splendid Pegasus Knight I choose this path because I admire you so please don't do this yourself or Florina please don't cry I'm sorry no it's my fault the pain of being the sole survivor it had trapped me thank you Florina I see Yora come with us better travel with friends than alone you're right I hate to admit that I cannot do everything by myself nor is my sac sacrifice could bring my companions back I can see what I can offer to the to the present my services to the Lord and see what I can do for him so yeah she's wielding a weapon that is too heavy for her in an, in a steel lance steel is aside from their special weapons like heavy lance are the heaviest of the weapons uh, they are not to be used by Pegasus Knights. They should be using Slim Lances or, at worst, um, um, well, they can use Silver. Silver is okay, but better to stick with just the Iron and uh, Slim stuff for them. Those are, um, I know I complained about this before, but um, this game definitely took whatever took the constitution to turn up the difficulty of this game. They turned the constitution down on, on everybody to make this game more difficult instead of just leaving the difficulty where it needed, where it was at in Fire Emblem 6. Um, and then, you know, say leaving the uh the whatever they call that constitution alone i don't know it was a decision that developers made um i don't necessarily agree with it but at the same time i can put the torch all the way out here so i can see a better amount of the fog so i'm not really walking into anything of too much of a surprise but uh Because just like every good Fog of War mission, they can see me, but I can't see them. Just fucking horse shit. I mean, I can't see them, but they can see me. I'm putting well in a little bit of a thing here. He's actually far enough away from that mage, but I can't 100% see what else is in the fog. And there might be another guy there kind of waiting for him. So being a little cautious is all. And we're going to have to, uh, unfortunately, because uh, I do plan to use Fiora. I'm going to probably call her Florara or something stupid like that in the future. Uh, but I'm going to try to not do that as well. But uh, Fiora, I'm going to attempt to level up. Because uh, she gets better defensive stats than her sister, Lorena, does. Um, and then ultimately, because they're Pegasus Knights, they tend to cap out in speed and uh skill so i'm looking for the unusual stats in addition 
to them getting as close to you know their their cap their level cap their whatever you want to call it um so like florina is gonna likely even after she classes up if she classes up she's likely all already going to be She's already going to hit the speed and skill level cap before she 2020s. Whereas Fiora will, according to her average stat growth, will not hit that cap until, you know, closer to 2020. So it gives you, and then in addition, she should, based on probability, she should end up with more, at the end, more strength, more um, defense, in addition to the maxed out speed and skill. So, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, there is an item in this game uh, that increases a character's um, um, statistic growth, I think, by 5%. Isn't that great? But at the same time, you know, if you're going from, say, you know... You're going, let's say you, you go from 10% chance to a 15% chance. That means that uh, over the course of, say, 40 levels... Or... About six, about uh, a total of six per, or uh, six points over forty levels. Uh, even if you have such a low percent chance of doing that, like I said, still you'll still end up with something out of it. And then obviously, if it increases you from say a. A 70 to a 75% chance now you know you're really starting to bank on start banking on some of those statistics coming through you know and really starting to see some um, benefit from say an extra 5% uh, attack or so so that's always sort of the thing that I I, I don't as you get it so late in the game, it's kind of not worth using on any of your characters. Because the ones that would get the most out of it are the ones that are at the lowest level. So you say to yourself, well, do I bench, you know, my fa my character that I want to try to get the highest, like a Flora, Fiora, or uh, we'll actually run into a character that's perfect for it. But you basically... She's not worth training in a normal situation because you she's too low of a level, you get her too late, and if you want to 2020 her, she's just it just you have to baby her too much and it, it ends up sorry defeating if you don't care about your ranking it doesn't matter, but if you do care about you know end ranking then it's like watch your, your ranking get tanked because you have to spend you know twice as many turns in one of the levels trying to get her up to a legitimate point where she can take care of herself. Stupid, I know. Found you. So you can see the sword master there. I'm sorry, not Sword Master Myrmidon. He's not gonna move. I think in the hard mode he may move. Um, but in I know in the normal campaign none of the um I shouldn't say none of the most of the bosses do not move. The big exception being the pig face guy from where you meet Hector. That guy always moves regardless. But in most cases, these guys won't move, which makes them easier, because then you don't have to worry about them, you know, riding in on their horse to crush you. 
Um, and a lot of missions also are, and this is what makes this game in, in many ways better than six is you get missions like this where you're not sure if this, um, this guy is going to move up and snipe you because not only is he a horse unit that can move far, but also he has, he's, he's primarily a bow user, so he can come in and snipe you either using like a, depending on what he has, he could have a long bow, which would give him a total of three range instead of two. Um, he could have a, you know, I know he has a short bow, which would give him less attack, but a chance at critical. He could have a critical bow and, and yeah, I don't even know. I've never, I'm not really, I don't really remember hard mode all that well. Um, but he could have those things. And then in addition to him being able to move, you get my point, he could be very dangerous. Hard mode, they could also probably give him a, um, killer sword, killer whatever. And then all of a sudden now you're really up shit creek because you put him in range, you can get sniped, you move too close to him, he can always come in with a sword because he's classed up unit now so he uses swords and bows. Perfect. All right, Fiora, come on down. I damaged. All right, now we need to attack you. Yes, yeah, because he, and I believe the because he's one of those characters. If I try to attack him from range, he'll switch over to his bow. And if I try to attack him up close. He'll switch over automatically over to his sword. If you're determined to block our progress, you shall be removed. Do your worst. Alright, I'll bring Hector down as well. No, no crit chance. So, you can do a maximum of 20 damage to Hector. Hector can, of course, kill if he gets hit 35%. So... Are you the one responsible for Leah's death? And if I were, what would you do? I'm not entirely sure, but I know that I you would not draw another breath. And he's gone. Well done. You are stronger. Stronger than I expected. I respect a final gift from me. From here, turn south at the rotting tree. Head west. Lies the path to the dragon's gate. Pink, pink, pink. No! I wanted more. Alright, so we got the Iron's Bowl, which is a level up for archers. Utai, which we could have met under different circumstances. Do we trust him? He was saccharine, he would not lie. I at least choose to believe him. Let us go then. To the Dragon's Gate. Is that a side quest? You bet. When we come back, we're gonna do the uh, side quest. So until then, I hope you guys all have a good one.